What is up fam? Welcome to another haunted adventure with your boy Omar. You guys have been asking and been like making up stories, which I don't appreciate. It's about my boy James the fam. What's up? Alright, we up? are still friends, okay? We're still exploring. We've just been busy. I've been moving. He lives in South Florida, like deep, deep South Florida. He's been doing some investigations on his own with his best friend Chelsea. If you didn't know I'm his my best other friend. Best friend. We have, we have a couple best friends, it's all good. But yeah, there's no beef between us. I mean, if we did clickbait you on some vlogs, I mean, it's just because it's what you guys are making up, you know, because obviously, <laughs> you know, in the YouTube world, everybody's got beef. But yeah, there's no beef. This is my homie, and we are back again, once again, investigating a really cool house. And today, he brought me back to a place. Actually, I've never been here, but he's been here before. Now that we have a little bit more info on this place, it is amazing. I can't wait to share the history Crazy. with you. It's going to be an amazing adventure. Be ready. Put your seatbelt on. Get your flashlight out because it's going to get dark. Let's do this. Coming in? Yes, sir. All right, there's a lot of obscenities on the wall. You did a live stream here, didn't you? Uh, no, our friends did a live stream. We made a video, but it was just, it was really loud. You know, there was a lot of people walking around. We didn't really get a chance to be quiet and listen to things. Um, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. But we did catch some voices and some noises on the video. You did? So, okay. Yeah, we did. We, and you weren't even here that long. No, we didn't stay but only about 40 minutes. This place is huge. I just felt a cold draft come from right here. Something I can't remember is really creepy, bro. We walked in from over there. We came inside here, right? And there was a chair that was like right in the middle. This is what people told us. We didn't even realize. There was a chair in the middle. Walked around, came back around. Now they live streamed the whole time. A couple people said maybe it was them. Maybe somebody moved the chair. They moved the chair. They didn't move the chair the whole time. We came back down here. The chair was like sitting right in front of this door and this was closed. And there was no way it could move from there to there and everybody freaked out about it. Like we didn't even notice. So there was a chair that moved. The Wait. chair legit moved and they thought it was the people with us, but they were live streaming the entire time, so it couldn't have been them. Is this that's the chair right the here? Chair. Yeah, that's the chair, bro. Oh, wow. James and I are gonna kind of split up. This is a massive house. I want to give you a little history on this place though. Now what happened here, and I'm not sure exactly when it happened, but after they put out their video and they knew what this house was, or who this house belonged to. And according to them, somebody who won the lottery years ago bought this house and lived in it for a short while and they were murdered by their wife and then buried underneath some concrete here. I remember years ago hearing a story similar to that. I'm not sure if it's connected, but supposedly you can still hear the man crying for help. I think he was buried alive underneath the concrete or was there for a short while before dying. I mean, maybe it happened back here. It's just James. Scared the crap out of me. Now, there's speculation on like them moving into this house before and it was already haunted and maybe that caused the wife to murder her husband. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I was just talking maybe about Maybe it was that. greed. I'm not sure the exact details, but like, I think it had something to do with the money. That's what I think. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, that's what yeah. a lot of people think. <laughs> it's it's kind of sad. Yeah. I'm sure that's happened on more than one of occasion, like where somebody won the lottery and maybe there was a life insurance policy or something and yeah i don't know that's kind of sad we do Great. have a spirit box too so if we need to see if we can get some avps get any answers awesome. we can, let me get some answers to that we're gonna spend a lot of time here we're gonna spend the entire day something that i preach when it comes to haunted loca locations is that a place can be haunted all day long it doesn't matter i mean especially a place like this where spirits do exist James, 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 dude, there's somebody here. There's some, there's somebody here. Is that, wait. Hello? 
Dude, I swear I heard somebody move. You did too? I thought it, I thought it was you at first. Hello, can you tell us you're here, please? We are the owners of the house. Not really. Just... Who's that? Dude, that was that was not upstairs. Maybe it was though. Bro. I'm telling you, we, there's somebody up there. You want to go up there? I don't want to go up there. If there's a person, if it's a real freaking person, hello? Dude, just be careful if I come bring you down. See anybody? I don't see anybody. I'm trying to... <laughs> I'm ready to freaking run right now. Hello? It says blood right there. Property management. I heard noises. That could not have been the freaking building site, okay? I mean, maybe though. Sometimes these buildings don't move until they're disturbed. You know, like we're we're walking around all over the place. You know. What about in that room right there? What room? I always get scared walking on, like in places like this because there could be a hole under the carpet or something. <laughs> That's actually a really good point, bro. Yeah. That's a really good point. This, this looks like this was, really nice. this was a really big house though like how many bedrooms do you think this was i don't know this reminds me of a sauna oh dude what the fuck was that did you hear that oh hello wait how is, wait wait a minute Shh. there's somebody here bro 100 percent you said last time and there's nobody up here hello Hello? What the hell was that? I don't know, the doors closed. Was it open when we went upstairs? Maybe it was the door? It could have been the window door. I don't remember if it was open or not. Do you guys? Yeah, let me know in the comments if that door, if we closed it, like behind it. No, I didn't touch I didn't touch the chair, I swear. Bro, wait a second. I just wanted to come in here and make sure there's nothing over here and this chair is in the way. It's not in the freaking way. I told you, bro, I'm telling you there's something. I'm telling you there's something with these chairs. Dude, there's something with these chairs. Yeah, I I, I Do you know the name? Convinced now of this freaking chair. That was was that the same chair that we were talking about? It moving or That's something? That's the same freaking chair, bro. Like, could maybe somebody got killed on that chair? Do you think maybe that's where the, like the guy could have died? Like the guy, the woman could have killed. I don't him know. On the chair? Maybe, maybe. I heard he was still alive when he was buried. Is that what made the noise, bro? Maybe. That's probably what made the freak. Oh like the chair moving? Oh yeah. Wait a minute. I don't know. It didn't sound like it didn't sound like that though. It sounded like somebody just walking or something.
trying to say a little bit ago. Some of you have been complaining about me having too much music or sound effects in my videos. And you know, sometimes I do that just to kind of make it a little bit more, kind of get you in the mood and, and, and kind of feeling what we're feeling, you know what I mean? Cause like, while I'm walking around this house, like the vibe is very intense. I mean, it's just because you're sitting at home and maybe watching this from a TV or maybe you're watching it on your phone or whatever. I mean, I don't know, it's different than when you're actually here. So I have to kind of, get you in the, in the feeling a little bit but I don't know maybe you guys might like this video a little bit more because I'm thinking of not putting as much sounds in it I don't know you let me know it's a beautiful house it's been abandoned since the 90s what happened I freaking heard something maybe it was you I just thought it was something else but this is weird like this goes from a closet to a room, to a bathroom. So you have to go through the closet to get to the room? Oh, like, wow. I get it. Like, it's weird. But I this place is huge, man. It's a very big house. I'm sure they didn't buy this house after they won the lottery. <laughs> Maybe it was after they won the lottery. They got this That's house. what I was thinking. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know if it was before or after. Probably after, you're right. Now that I think of it, I thought it was before, but now you think it's probably after. What does this say? I like you like a fat kid likes cake. I like you like a dirty kid loves trash. I like you like a dirty kid loves hote every day. And then I like you like a yuppie loves a shower. I like you like a yuppie loves stocks. Uh, I feel like that maybe would have been on a song or something. Bro, mm. hold on a second. If I'm not mistaken. Doesn't this look like something that would resemble like a dollar bill or something? I mean, it almost looks like, I mean, it's the color of money. I don't know. I could be wrong. It definitely is like different. It looked like, looked like something from a dollar. But I mean, it's obviously about birds. Blue finch. Oh, look. Yo, Tom, my boy. So whoever owned this, one thing we have in common is we, we love birds. Or, I mean, whoever did that wallpaper. I mean, maybe the person who owned it before the lottery winners. Oh, there's a wall that's broken here. Bro, what if there was? Could you imagine? I mean, people do do that. Like, that does happen. And lottery winners, if they have cash? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you would do. A million dollars isn't really a lot of money. It is a lot of money, but not compared to like maybe 10 or 20 years ago, a million dollars was. But let me know. You won the lottery, let's say for $200 million. What would you do with it? Would you get it all in cash? Would you take payments on it, you know, for a cut, maybe for $150 million? Would you maybe take that, lump sum of that, and give up 50 of it? Would you get it all in cash afterwards? Like, hey, I want my money in cash. Or maybe keep some in the bank and then have some of it in cash? Like a couple hundred thousand or something? Maybe a couple million? Would you hide it in your walls? Man, this shower's cool. Oh wow. Somebody went caca. Oh. Yeah. I'm gonna go look for some money. You know what? I'm gonna go look for money. Yes. There could be money in here. Anytime you go into a place where it's like this, you know, an old house, people sometimes hide money, you know? That's the caca room. Is that you, James? Uh, I'm back here. Huh? <laughs> hey, did you push that? Huh? Did you push that? Talking about this, this thing, bro. 
I was all the way back there. I heard you go, uh, and I heard a noise. What are you talking about? I didn't do anything. Bro, don't mess with me. Bro, I, I, you can watch my footage, bro. You can use my footage. What is he? I don't even know he's... So I heard like a noise coming from in here. And I look back and that's falling. And what's crazy is right before I... Dude, I wasn't anywhere around that. I'm not even close to around that. Okay, okay, okay. Are you sure? Positive. If you guys want to see, I, I'm going to take a look at that. If you guys want to see that in this video, that's... I don't even know what I saw. I just saw that like falling right now. I mean, maybe I accidentally bumped into it. Maybe your spirit got scared and I, because I was coming this way, maybe it bumped into it. <laughs> I heard like a... Wait, is this connected to... I, heard, I swear I heard something coming from in here. Hello? What? Okay. <laughs> oh man. You know what's crazy though? When it comes to videos like this, sometimes we end up catching stuff while we're editing, and sometimes we don't. That's why I tell you to keep your eyes and ears open, because sometimes you guys catch things I wouldn't have even seen, like just something in the background. You know, let me know. Keep your eyes open. Sometimes I encourage you watch these videos over and over again. Maybe like five or six times, you might see something completely different, even on the sixth time that you watch. So I'm gonna go down in the basement. I hear it's wet down there. What's really strange is that a house in Florida having a basement to begin with. It's very rare. Go go in the basement. Watch step. Yeah, go in the basement. Go all the way down to the bottom of the basement. What? Well, it's wet, right? Oh. This is why we don't have basements in Florida. Cause our water table. Oh yeah, dude, there's, oh wow. It's like a foot of water down there. Just me? Just okay. <laughs> I don't know, I've, I'm like getting freaked out. I love basements cause it's just like an extra area to put things, you know? But they creep me the hell out, I'm not gonna lie. Let me know what's creepier to you. Is it a basement or an attic? I would say basement. That's almost like what I heard coming from the second floor. I almost want to go back up there again. I would take you around the basement a little bit more, but I don't have any boots. Got my shoes on right now. I'm ready to see a fish start swimming in there. Yo, Omar. Yeah. Yo, come on back up here, man. I'm a little worried, dude. James is like, I don't think he keeps being drawn to the upstairs. What are those? I don't know. It's almost like a florist lived here. Oh, that's that. Maybe that's what it was for flowers. There's a bunch of baskets in here somewhere. Maybe somebody rented this out later on. Yeah, I didn't go in here. Easter baskets. Yeah, there's a lot of crazy things happening up here. Like, what the hell would those noises be for? There's nothing here. Unless there's like a big rat or something in here. I mean, it's possible. It could be. That door was wide open in the back. I'm so out from that chair. Uh, there's a condom wrapper right there. Is there really? Oh, man, look what I found right there. Oh, no. Is it a used one? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I'm glad you recorded that. Could be a balloon. <laughs> Actually, that's what I used to do with my dad's things. Oh, you, you find your dad's condoms? Yeah, when I was younger, I didn't know what they were. I used to fill them up with water. <laughs> Thought they were balloons. I don't know if it's, it was you right now, but I heard something down there. Again. Omar thought you just heard another freaking noise from downstairs again. You wanna go around and check it out? Yeah. Let's go. Oh, there's something 
down there. Bro, this place is really freaking me out, dude. Like, there's just so many freaking random things that continue to happen here. Gee, what'd you hear? I don't know. This is the room that I kept hearing noises in. In this one? Yeah. What the f was that? All I see is some freaking flying Aggie. I have no idea what it is. Bro, what is that? I don't know. It's like a AC vent thing. Did it fall? It fell, yeah. I mean, I, I did see something by the bro, stairs bro, there. What is the coincidence that the freaking air vent just falls out? Come on. Bro. We should probably go, dude. Out of here. That thing scared the crap out of me, dude. What if that thing hit? Oh. You? This thing's like, what? What? I don't what? know. I just maybe it was you stepping on that. I don't know. Let, let's get out of here, bro. I don't know. We might come back here at nighttime and spend the entire night. I'm not sure, but I think whatever's here is pretty upset. And I don't know. Links will be in the description to my friend James, the fan. Be sure to check him out. I'm not sure if there's somebody playing games with us here, I and mean, it is possible. I mean, but we we combed this house like crazy. We were in and out of here, all over the place. You got you had one side. I had the other side. There's nobody here. Unless there's an animal that we're not seeing. But I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and let you go. Thank you so much for being a part of today's adventure. I got to go for now before we leave. Give me a kiss. Peace. Uh -huh.